super tender beef brisket cooked in a luscious, deep flavored sauce. You're gonna wanna try this one. Hey everyone, I'm Flo, Dude is behind the camera and we're all about simple food, simple faith. You know, this dish is one of Dude's dad's favorite things to order in the restaurant. Beef brisket over um, Chinese rice noodles in a broth along with some green vegetables. And it really is super yummy. The beef is so tender and I think one of the reasons he loves it so much is because <laughs> He wears dentures and it's soft for him to chew, but it really is very delicious, but that's how tender we're talking about. I have about a pound and a half of beef brisket, and I bought this at the Asian market because I find that when you buy it in a regular um, supermarket, it comes way leaner than this, and I want it to be a little bit more fatty and marbled. Um, the fat will give it extra flavor, but also makes it tender. And there were some pieces with a lot of fat on it. Like, I'm like, oh, I don't know if I want to buy this. There's just too much. I would cut most of it off. But there's just enough, I think, on this one. And uh, yeah, when you cook it down, it really is very delicious. So I'm going to cut this down into one and a half inch size cubes. And if it was up to my father-in-law, he would want to put tendon in this dish, which I'm just like, well, oh, I can't eat tendon. That's a hard no. <laughs> if I didn't find beef brisket, I was actually looking for finger meat, which is um, the meat kind of behind the ribs. And it's also super tender. If you can ever get a chance to get some finger meat to try out. It's really, really yummy in stews and in dishes like this. I actually find finger meat a lot more cost effective, especially with meat going up so much in price right now. When it's on sale, I get it for like $7.99 maybe per pound, whereas regular price would be like $10.99 per pound, but still way cheaper than buying steak or, well, I don't like buying stew meat because stew meat, I find it's just too lean and I can never get it cooked perfectly. It's just still too tough for me when I get my dish done. So I do like using the brisket or finger meat now that I found it. I'm using the Instant Pot today, so it's gonna be a breeze to put this together. I'm throwing all the meat into the pot. You can obviously do this on the stove top. It just takes a lot longer because you're simmering and you're braising the meat. But here, everything just gets pressure cooked together all at once. I have about one and a half ounce to two ounces of fresh ginger. And it's not a thumb size at all. <laughs> it's much bigger than that. I've already scrubbed it clean. I'm leaving the skin on because I didn't feel like peeling it but you can definitely peel it if you'd like. I'm just gonna slice it up. Oops, one more. Okay. And that is also just going in the pot. So I have these like massive cloves of garlic. And this is Russian. I think they're called Russian red garlic. Anyways, it's about five pieces of regular sized garlic. So I'm gonna use all of it. And just, it's too big to go into my garlic press too, so I'm just gonna chop it up and throw it in. So I'm just mincing this up. If you don't want this much garlic, you don't have to. Actually, it's a lot more than I expected it to be. All right, all of this is going into the pot. I'm just gonna combine my sauce in a measuring cup. Quarter cup of Shaoxing wine. And Shaoxing wine is just a cooking wine. If you don't have Shaoxing wine, you can try using a sherry or a different type of rice wine for cooking. Adding two tablespoons of soy sauce. one tablespoon of dark soy sauce. And if you don't have dark soy sauce, you can just use regular soy. The dark gives it extra deep colors. And one tablespoon of oyster sauce.
and two tablespoons of chihau paste. And chihau paste is a um, fermented soybean paste that is specific for making this dish. So I do keep this in my fridge. It adds a certain flavor that you're not gonna get from just regular, I don't know, some people say sub hoisin sauce, not the same. Just gonna stir this up. And we're gonna pour this over the whole meat mixture. I'm gonna try to evenly pour it over. I'm also adding one cinnamon stick, two star anise, and about a tablespoon of rock sugar. So according to ancient Chinese secret, they say, well, AKA my mom, they say that the rock sugar will actually help to tenderize the meat, but you know what? I don't know if that's true. A whole tablespoon can tenderize it more than a pressure cooker. In any case, if you don't have rock sugar, just use regular sugar. Okay, putting on the lid, locking into place, making sure the sealing knob is on sealing. And by the way, I did not add any more water. That, there's enough liquid in there to pressurize the pot. I'm going to cook it for 35 minutes on high pressure. And that was it. How easy is that? See you in a little bit. So we're having the brisket over rice noodle in a, a broth today. And we can get this fresh in town. There's a lady that makes it fresh every single day. And if you're lucky, you can go by and she might have some left. It goes really fast. Otherwise, you can find this in the refrigerator section of uh, the supermarket and they are also sold as fresh. I don't believe I've ever seen it dried, but I do know that it exists. So you're looking for rice noodles. So there's four of us today. It comes in sheets. Sometimes you can find them already sliced up, but I like buying it in the sheets so that I can cut the width I like to eat. And for us, it's all about the mouthfeel, right? So we want to cut these about an inch wide. And then we're going to separate them. So she has, you know, um, very thin sheets, but you don't want to separate them individually. You just want to separate like maybe three, three to four per, well, here's five, I guess. This is just so that they're not super sticky when you put it in your dish, that there, there is some chew when you're eating them. Right, so this is about two pounds of noodles and this will serve four of us. And I think the brisket is ready, so let's check this out. Oh my goodness, it smells so amazing. Yummy. Okay, I am gonna thicken this sauce with just a cornstarch slurry. But while I can, I'm gonna pick out the cinnamon and the star anise. If I could find it. If you could find it. There's one. Does it, does it remain whole? Well, almost. I know this one was bigger. Here's that other piece. I hate biting into pieces of star anise. Here's the other one, intact, check it. Oh, nice job. All right, so sometimes people like to eat the ginger, so I leave it in. Like, dude sometimes likes the ginger. But star anise, no. <laughs> so I'm just gonna turn on the saute mode. Bring it back up to a simmer. And I think I will use about a tablespoon of cornstarch. And about a tablespoon of water to dissolve it. And remember it has to be cool or room temperature water, otherwise it will clump up on you. Okay. 
Actually, there is a bit of fat in here, so I am going to try to skim some of it. Not a lot. All right, now I'm going to stir in the slurry. All right, there we go. Let's just have it. Let this simmer for about a minute. I didn't bother heating up the noodles, but you could put them in the microwave for, I don't know, like a minute just to warm them up. I made a chicken broth straight from a Tetra pack. <laughs> that is our base. And I just poured the hot soup on top. So that does warm up the noodles. And we're going to spoon some of this right over top along with some of the sauce. And that will just pour into your soup and make it so much more flavorful. I also made some Chinese green vegetables. I'm going to add, and you can check out the video how to make Chinese vegetables. With a little bit of green onions for garnish. I'm telling you, it's just like the restaurants. If not better, because you know exactly what went in there. Yep. Are you all ready for? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, the taste. Yes, this is my dad's favorite dish, but without the tendon. I don't know, dad, why do you like the tendon so much? It's kind of gross. <laughs> no offense to all the people who like the tendon. Dude, ah, oh, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot. First of all, I gotta have some of that, that brisket. Yo, mmm. Tender, fantastic flavor. But I do think that the finger meat would be more marbled, more of a overall tender mouthfeel. You know why? Because it's way fattier. <laughs> That's it. Mm. Oh yeah. The rice noodle is fresh. So it's got that springy mouthfeel to it. Some veg. Okay. good. We don't get out to the uh, the kanji noodle places as often. Having this at home, oh my gosh, the flavors, fantastic. And on a day like this, they don't call it Vancouver for nothing. <laughs> Perfect. Awesome, thanks dude. Yeah. We're having this brisket in a soup noodle today, but you can definitely have it over stir fried noodles or chow mein noodles. You can have it over rice. It's really super versatile. You can use it for many different dishes. For more Chinese comfort food, check it out. I will see you over there.